our week here at Open Studio launched with a very action-packed adventure in the sky. New Horizon is a series of art events sponsored by the Trustees of Reservations. At its center is a huge, shiny, metallic hot air balloon, which has been floating across Massachusetts. We joined the balloon and its artistic team on Monday for what turned out to be a rather dramatic finale. Good morning, Lawrence Traffic, Hot Air Balloon 869 Uniform Sierra. Do you have me this morning? For this story, we'll begin at the end. On Monday, we'd been taking a pretty serene ride over Andover, floating above the treetops in a hot air balloon designed by artist Doug Aitken, a shimmering, inflatable sculpture he's titled New Horizon. I see New Horizon as really kind of a sculpture of time. It's something which is it's temporary, it's changing continuously. Um, when it stops, we can have these kind of incredible communal moments. But on this flight, we got communal fast. The wind picked up and we had to touch down. After two failed attempts, our pilot spotted a make-do landing strip, this small, grassy median at the intersection of two busy routes at rush hour. Bend your knees. Hang on, hang on. Right there, hold. Suddenly, New Horizon was on the ground, its silvery skin collapsing in a tired exhale. Cars stopped. The state police rushed in. Behind us, there's cars pulling over, diving in, helping, you know. I, I think it's just, it's, it's miraculous. We had an exhilarating landing. <laughs> Pedro Alonso is the guest curator of Art and the Landscape an effort by the trustees of reservations to disrupt the group's historic sites, not with art that's ornamental, but art that engages. Yeppe Hines mirrored Labyrinth at World's End in Hingham, Sam Durant's Meeting House at the Old Manse in Concord, and Alicia Quade's Exploration of Reality at the Crane Estate in Ipswich. I'm convinced that the public wants art. They just don't want to feel intimidated. Or, or uninformed when they look at it. And this is the kind of artwork that people will be surprised. That was art. Alonzo also takes a devilish glee in the element of surprise. Remember the photograph that mysteriously appeared on Boston's former Hancock Tower one day? That was Alonzo teaming with French artist J.R. They did it again two years ago, installing an image of a child peering over a Mexican border wall into the U.S. That kind of surprise? is, for me, much more valuable than a programmed event. Well, what does it do to, to, to plunk a sculpture down in the middle of rush hour traffic, literally in the middle of rush hour traffic? Oh, it, it's, it's, well, first, people take notice. <laughs> you know, people definitely take notice. And, and I think it, it's the kind of thing that just changes your day. You're going to think very differently about how your day went. In a world where everything is so homogenized and so repetitious, you know, we need disruption. We, we, we need moments that kind of are, are a crack in our daily reality. Hundreds of feet up in the air before our sudden landing, artist Doug Aiken says when Alonzo commissioned him to create a piece for art and the landscape, he knew zero about hot air balloons. So he used the idea of the classic American road trip as a point of departure. It's kind of baked into our DNA, this idea of the other, this idea of disappearance or kind of moving into the landscape, a landscape that we don't know. You know, I think there's an aspect of this project that's intensely physical. I couldn't have said it better than that sound. <laughs> the California-based artist and filmmaker is a big thinker and creator. He's animated an entire Manhattan block with his piece Sleepwalkers. He curated Station to Station, a train that doubled as a light sculpture as it crossed the U.S., and in underwater pavilions, he submerged giant sculptures off the California coast. The idea of community, the idea of these kind of flashpoints across the landscape has been very provocative. New Horizon has been popping up, and in our case, floating across Massachusetts for the last two weeks, moving from Martha's Vineyard to the Berkshires. In daylight, it's a 100-foot tall beacon. At night, it's a floating light show. And wherever the balloon goes, people gather for music, speakers, and conversation in organized happenings. They see this object and they, you know, and they track it down and suddenly they're there and, you know, it's almost like a kind of hallucination. It's what we saw, too. People coming out of their homes, taking a break from work. It's from up here that we saw how different our community looks. 
In the lushness of summertime, Massachusetts presents as a veritable rainforest. Those moments, you know, when you have a kind of awakening, when you really kind of see the mundane and it becomes vital and fresh and real again. And New Horizon reminds us that a lot of life, nature, fate, it's all out of our control. Minutes before our adventuresome landing, Aiken told me he even planned for the unplannable. It's a very rogue project. In the end, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of about improvisation. It's about the sense of openness. And we don't really know what's going to happen tonight or tomorrow. And I kind of love that. Especially when a grounded hot air balloon makes you appreciate an otherwise benign traffic median on a whole new level.